Welcome everybody back to the 3L channel. I'm Chad. Whether you're a newcomer or a returning subscriber, thanks so much for dropping by, giving me a little piece of your weekend. As you know, we're wrapping up a marathon this weekend with the Bee Gees. Thanks for tagging along with me on this ride. One more lap around the track to go, folks. You guys saw the title. From the Living Eyes album in 1981, we have the Twin Brothers. Don't go anywhere. Being the 16th original album and 14th internationally, Living Eyes was released in 1981. Recording began early that year without the Bee Gees band that recorded and toured with the group in the late 70s. Barry felt that he could create the sound he wanted with sessions musicians instead of a band and the album featured musicians like Don Felder, Jeff Porcaro, Richard T, George Terry, and Steve Gadd. Also, the Bee Gees stated that they were trying to avoid being pigeonholed as a disco act, which was why the album also featured minimal falsetto vocals, which had become a Bee Gees trademark by that time. Barry, along with other producers, including Carl Richardson, had developed their own production style with Spirits Having Flown and Barbara Streisand's album Guilty. Robin and Morris had become active in the studio again, contributing more to vocals and production, and features the return of the twins as a lead vocalist since 1975. Well folks, let's not waste any more time, let's jump right into this. This is by the twins. Mo and Robin singing, I still love you. Let's go. Look at sweet, some twins, eh? You're, you're twins. That one of a kind voice. Mo's just a cut up, isn't he?
First of all, I absolutely love these types of tribute videos, you know, that's put together, showing these guys in real life, real action, you know, the closeness, the bond that they share as brothers, as twins, you know, all the humor, the laughter, the closeness, again, you know, their blood, their family, and, you know, I'm sure there was times, just like any other family, that they didn't get along and didn't see eye to eye and was the case in on several occasions with these brothers but hey at the end of the day they're family and they had truly cared for one another and loved each other this has the ability to get you all emotional inside you know especially when you think about the fact that Barry is now alone you know uh, suffering the loss of his two younger brothers and it's uh, kind of a hard burden to carry but you know, this is life, it happens to all of us, but my heart goes out to Barry. Me personally, I've never experienced that kind of loss. Someone so close as a, a sibling, you know, and in my case, I'm the oldest, so uh, the first one to go should be me, not, not my younger siblings. Thanks so much for this request and for your patience. So many more to go through, and I'm enjoying every minute of it. Their vocals were just so soft, so gentle, and so harmonious, on point. Just kind of difficult to focus on the music and the arrangement, you know, when you start thinking about the loss of them two as individuals. I hope this tribute video was a good way to wind up this weekend. A memorial for the major contributions that these guys had to the band. Thanks so much for listening, folks. Tagging along. And until next time, take care.